Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. My name is Nick and today guys we're going to be jumping down into the world of XRP, taking a look at what's been going on most recently and what we think is likely to happen next. As I get into the video, if you find it useful and informative, smash that like button. I do appreciate that. If you're new to the channel, subscribe and tap that bell, selecting all the notifications and you doing so, you will not miss another update. And if you haven't yet joined us in Discord, guys, check it out. Linked in the description down below. It's a fantastic community talking crypto 24-7. It's completely free and I don't think you'll be disappointed by what you find down there. So go ahead and check it out. Let's jump right down into this one though we'll keep it nice and brief and get everyone up to date with what i think is going on here with xrp and um, so here we have xrp paired up with usdt on the hourly chart and binance is the data source and as you can kind of see from the previous video we did move up higher than the invalidation line at 39.43 and um, so we can mark this five wave structure as invalid now and we can review what is going on within these structures our macro piece still sits in place not a problem instead of a five wave structure we now just have a b and c structure coming in down here that would mark completion of this A wave. We can see that we have progressed up an interesting amount. It does look like we have completed a three wave structure here, one, two, and three, like that, A, B, and C. And at the moment, we do have this uh, this potential move complete as well uh, with an A, B, and C by the looks of it, uh, just in here. So the next move is going to be up, but I don't expect it to be terribly too much. Uh, we'll see how that goes. One of the things that we'll be looking for is to see whether or not we can stay below 40 cent exactly, which it happened to be where we pushed up to previously and because our C wave expectation is still slightly down further here okay before we can talk about completing this B wave and then go up again okay so uh, we are looking at a macro push higher um, but we can't get there without first coming down a little bit by the looks of it. Now, of course, there's cut two scenarios here that we're kind of looking at kind of playing out. The fact that we're oversold on this hourly chart, I would expect us just to kind of suffer over the weekend just a little bit more and maybe come down a fraction before we move on up. So looking at this, it would indicate to me that we're in one of two scenarios. One, we're not going to go up as high as possible so the bullish scenario if it sits at the moment is that we end up with this kind of a b and c structure taking us up towards 40.83 which would put stunting us short on this structure okay on the larger macro if we were to do this this essentially if i clear out some of these noisy parts just here okay this would basically look like we had already completed a three-wave stretch to the downside here okay just into this low range um, and if I go ahead and put a horizontal ray we can kind of see that that would have been 38.09 right so we complete this structure down uh, and then if we were to think about this next structure being the upward move it would look something similar to this and would take us to 43 cent now we don't really want that to happen because it means that you would have completed this macro C wave a lot shorter than you would have wanted it to okay so in an ideal world you want to actually go down a little bit deeper before you can then start to actually go up. And, and the reasoning for that and the rationale for that is you want a nice big three wave structure coming down here so that you can be complete on this B wave. And then you get a nice new, more bigger structured out move to the upside, okay? so. If we take a look at that and uh, we start thinking, okay, well, if we hit our local high at the moment, uh, then what we want to do is we want to kind of put this to 40 cent right there. We want to be targeting out down here towards the 37.64 cent uh, right on this little level here. We can go down a fraction more if we needed to, more towards maybe 37.11. Um, I'll put a little yellow box area on this one so we can kind of keep an eye on it, right? So that's kind of the area that we'd be kind of expecting uh, to kind of come down into, right, on this B wave and this C wave. Those two things are the same. Then, of course, we will be taking a look at this entire A wave structure here and looking to repeat it from these lows. So if I take it on the low lowest possible point this would then give us our expectation on our c wave at around 41.2 cent okay so this is a case of you go down lower in order to push ourselves up higher but we would want to see a really good three wave structure in here as well so we can see good progression now if i zoom out of this you can kind of see that we are just ranging sideways and this is obviously the supply area this is where a lot of sellers actually are so when we kind of zoom out we kind of take stock of okay well, all we're doing here is we're just retesting this area we could argue that there's a bigger structural point to the downside here probably taking us back down towards the 30 cent range um well with whatever causes that we don't know just yet but you know essentially it's kind of where we're working and where we're kind of targeting out towards now, if I bring this up into our daily chart, uh, we can see that we are fighting this area of resistance on the trend line. You can see that we're in a couple of different areas, right? These were areas that we obviously clearly got rejected on. But most recently, we're really fighting our way, trying to push our way through and kind of get some kind of support to be found in here. Um, now, the 
positive, and there is a positive here, if I grab hold of our parallel channel, uh, the positive essentially is that we are doing lower lows and lower highs and these have a tendency to break to the upside so we're still possible move here is that we actually see a break upwards um, and we saw this a couple of times before as well let me grab another one of these um, over this side here right we can see that we we were basically coming down into lower lows and lower highs and then we broke upwards right and we're doing something very similar over this end okay so this is a positive we could see a break upwards before we end up having to break down um so one of those keep a close eye on it now we've seen that uh, this is a reasonably positive area we can see these again uh, up here when you're higher highs and higher lows you break down and we've seen the break downwards and um, i don't think there's terribly too much more in the tank though so if we are to push up higher we're probably going to enter into that supply range and then we're probably going to end up getting rejected from there that's kind of my thoughts on it um now from a stochastic rsi point of view we're heading to overbought on the daily uh, we're just coming down a little bit from overbought on the weekly and the 20 hour is high the 16 hour is high, the 12 hour is high, the 8 hour has come down a fair amount. So we still have that momentum shift upwards on the 4 hour, the 8 hour and the hourly. So the smaller time frames are looking good for a bit of a move to the upside, but the larger time frames not so much. Now, if we go ahead and take a look for some divergences, there's nothing on the hourly, nothing on the 4 hour. Nothing on the eight hour and we got some hidden bearish divergence, which we've already played out uh, on the 12 hour. The 16 hour is OK. The 20 hour also does have the same bearish divergence setup. Uh, again, that's already played out. Nothing on the daily and nothing on the weekly that we should be concerned with and nothing on the monthly either. We'll just check it for continuity sake. Um, but for the most part, volume wise on our weekly chart, we can see volume is decreasing here. Let me grab my trend lines just to kind of demonstrate this. Um, so in September of 2022, we can see that volume was nice and high and volume has just been on the decrease ever since we had this high up here. This is actually a reasonably good thing to see because it means that you're not able to push down as much, but also volume has been decreasing as price has pushed upwards. So again, it's not overly positive from that kind of point of view and we want to be a little bit cautious uh, with that as well. Um, so on our weekly time frame, it's uh, yeah a little bit concerning. Now on the volume side, on the daily chart uh, we also can acknowledge that volume has been on the decrease uh, as we were correcting down that's actually a positive thing um, but volume wasn't overly impressive on the way up either so again you know we can reflect on where things were and where positive volume comes in you can kind of see this move to the upside during September of 2022 there was a lot of volume growth to that um, but those volumes just are not being matched up at the moment so not overly bullish um, from a volume point of view at the moment but this isn't anything only usual so for the most part xrp uh, my expectations are that we do have some small amount of volatility on the on the lower time frames we do have that push upwards still i think possible on the daily and some of the other kind of um smaller time frames like the hourly four hourly eight hourly time frames and i think the supply range is an area that we should be focusing in on as i do think this is going to be the area where we find the rejection this comes in at 40.87 to 43.74 cent and i think that's going to remain our big area of resistance the previous area of demand up in 2022 that has been pretty much our resistance blocker um, for the majority of the, uh, the latter part of 2022 and the 2023 so far let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below i will leave the video right there if you found it useful hit that like button I do appreciate that if you're new subscribe and don't forget guys join us down in discord until the next one have a fantastic day